I never got yeah. caught for it, but we used to break into my... It, most people call it middle school in Ocean City. They called it intermediate school, but it was mm-hmm. middle school. And... Um, on Wait, you sec- went to you went to sorry you went to middle school in Ocean City, Ocean City, New Jersey. Yeah. Oh, never mind. And uh, different one. Anyway, there was I forget exactly how we got there, but the second floor windows tended to be unlocked frequently, and you could go to like the chain link fence to like a, they had these really well constructed downspouts, not like the one on your house, but these were like solid metal. Yeah. And uh, so the, the the chain link fence would get you like two thirds up t- towards the roof. And then we could shimmy up the downspouts the rest of the way. And then all of the second floor windows were open. And once we figured this out, it became like a regular thing. Like we all would like, it was like, oh, it's getting, you know, twilight out. What do you want to do? Let's break into the school again. Like, yeah, fuck it. You know, like we some... haven't spent enough time at school. What did you yeah. do once you got in there? Did you ever, did you steal anything? Even, even something like piddling or did you, did you break anything? Did you, what did you do? Did you go in and like do all the homework early to surprise your teachers? <laughs> right. That sounds like me. Great. All no, the papers for her. We weren't vandals. <laughs> God, this is going to be so mad. We were trespassers. <laughs> so we would go to the parts of the school that we otherwise couldn't go. Like we check out the teacher's lounge. We'd check out the principal's oh. office. We'd open drawers and stuff and like look edgy. at what, like, like edgy i don't know we were just idiots like you know i just wanted <laughs> to see sense. the things i wasn't allowed to see i never broke anything or caused any real trouble i was just like you know i don't know like looking at <clears throat> things i wasn't allowed you didn't to go see. to like the girls locker room and oh like... yeah yeah no we went to girls locker rooms we went to Did you um, go through their stuff and can find their underwear no, no, we you just saw, we're like, oh, I, girl's bathroom. Like, hey, look, they've got a stall for every toilet. Like, well, yeah, I guess we had stall for every toilet. Crazy, like, right? Like, you know, they, yeah, yeah. It just like, like I just, well, they just have a trough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and oh, the, concave room. the girl's showers. This was, I felt this like, this is an injustice. The showers had all curtains and everything. So the girls could all shower privately while the guys were just treated like livestock, you know, with huh. like uh, heads how in sexist. the open area. Yeah, yeah. But like, that's, that's the kind of thing we do. Too. I never went into the girls' locker room, but I had a friend who went into the girls' locker room, and he said that they all got their own separate shower. And for the guys, it was basically just they shovel you into this big open room with a bunch yep. of shower heads. Yep. And we I, had both. Yeah. Oh, we had a mixture. That doesn't matter as much, but if only five of the twelve shower heads work, that's a problem. Wait, like, the, what did you say? It doesn't matter as much. I didn't care of just being in the big room. Of without course you wind. didn't. You were puberty blessed. Right? If your penis was small, like that of, say, a seven-year-old while you're still 14, you wouldn't like it as much. You'd have a much hey, stronger Peter, opinion. Hey, are you so? But it just depends on priorities. Yeah, Did priorities. you guys really use those showers in the entire yes, time? Every, every, not I, once. Every I single did not I know of a single person that ever uh-huh. used our school showers. Only anymore. football players used the showers. The only not even them. So so and they didn't use them at school. They used them after school after their practice. Mm. Like there was never a situation where there were naked people showering um, wh- during school hours. Maybe that once or twice there was so a football player weird. who like because because I had early morning like weightlifting class and 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 there was a couple of football players in there and it's possible that one of them might have rinsed off once or twice but. Like our showers were dirty and gross. Yeah, they were and, like, nasty. They were. They, they got. They seemed to the at least to my untrained eye to get used so little that there was like dirt on the floor in the shower room, and uh, but there were a couple of divider walls. There was like maybe eight shower heads where you just stood out in the open like prison style, and then there were a couple of divider walls for maybe three guys if they wanted to could find so a little privacy. Nobody showered after PE. We did. No. Or- no, we like, not. no, you just, I mean, you just kind of li- lived with it. I mean, yeah, you might sweat a little bit, but at That's the end crazy. of the day, you know. Yeah, we had like I, I a don't... group thing. Like the, there'd be an activity, right? And if you did something that made you sweat, like crab soccer or something, oh, then yeah. everybody showered. If you did something that didn't make you sweat, like uh, archery, then nobody showered. I showered after every single P.E., because I love hot showers. And I'm not gonna pass of it up. You just like showing your dick off. That's what it is. You just like <laughs> yes. Like, hey, you and your like adult shower? dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I had it. I His hairy that, that, chest. It, it was the His complete opposite of what you guys 12. are describing. You guys, like, in, in my school, you were a weirdo if you didn't shower. Like, and if you were sitting in, like, third hour and I smelly. smelled somebody and I knew I had PE with them, I'd be like, dude, what the hell? Like, you smell bad. Like you either are bait, you're covered in axe trying to cover up BO or you just said screw it and didn't like you, we'd give like shit to people who would go and like do wrestling or basketball or whatever and then go and not shower. It's like, dude, you're, you're gross. Like 
you really think chicks are cool with you just smelling like an asshole the rest of the day? Like, wouldn't you rather I smell? I, I just didn't see the reason to not want to shower. First of all, if you had PE early in the day, it was great because you don't have to shower before you get to school. You just go straight, have PE, and then you do your daily shower after PE oh, and then go to class. So uh, I, I did that, that my that entire second semester senior oh, year. It was great. The, the, the very idea of that is so, like, off-putting to me. The <laughs> idea of my morning shower ritual now being, being like... Not being at school, where like <laughs> anything could go wrong. Maybe class goes too long and I don't get to wash but my there ass. Was a, or there was a scheduling. Ah. There was a scheduling error my second semester senior year, and so I had study hall following my PE, and so I could get there PE, and then everybody else was like, "Oh shit, we got to shower real quick," and I was like, "I'm taking my sweet time." I, I, I would bring a plastic chair in and point all the working hot showers at me, and I would sit there. I actually did that my senior year. I would make the freshmen wait to shower until after I was done for a while. I'd just sit on this, like, throne and make them all wait. What that was... But... <laughs> <laughs> Just that was kind of shitty. Kids turning the corner, you're just sitting, all the shower heads pointed, man spread. Your dick's just on the chair. You're just staring at, like you can wave right direction. There, son. Who's got shampoo for me? You know, apply uh, <laughs> it. Thing. We would whoever took the first shower. <laughs> the first guy to shower, his responsibility was to turn on every shower so that the second guy could walk right into hot water. Right. Comb my <laughs> chest hair, boy. I, just, I feel, I feel like you guys out. had weird you guys lived in like a different i mean you guys are older than me but i just feel like that's a whole different thing i don't know a single person i grew up with that took a shower at school i don't know anybody who did it i'm only like two years older than you yeah yeah, yeah. taylor's really? pretty young he's 20. yeah I'm yeah i don't know middle you, america stuff. 23 i turn 24 next month two months from now okay taylor's well, 25 i'm still yeah, I, on the other cool. hand like I, it, my high school too. was actually black and white. You guys might not know that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't get that for a second. That was. <laughs> the only, did you guys have this? Like when you would shower in any public shower, like that that feeling of panic when you it goes from like cold to hot to cold to hot again. Like it, that's it, yeah. Like, you have soap in your eyes. I don't know what it is because I know that I'm safe standing in a shower and that. And it gets really cold or really hot. My like, I always just imagine that some sort of ghoul or evil person has snuck up behind me and changed the water to scalding and is waiting for me to like fall and harm. I don't know what fucking movie I saw as a kid, but I can't. Psycho. Feel, yeah, it, rather. Maybe it actually. Maybe yeah. it. There'll That's be that shower scene. Yeah. Yeah. Stab them. I don't know. I I agree with you though. So like even in my own home, not now. I'm you know I'm an adult. I don't get scared. But like when I but when I was like in my in my home, uh, you know, growing up. When I was always fine, but as soon as I had my shampoo or whatever, and I'm putting my head underneath there, if I heard a noise, I'm like, you know, supersonic washing so I can go <laughs> check it out. Like, I don't know what it is, but I'm vulnerable now. You're going to stab me? I'm dead. Like, I can't yeah. see anything. The only thing yeah. I can relate uh, to that is being in VR, and uh, mm. and, and it, it just it shuts both your major senses off. You know, you can't see or hear. And I lock that door, and I, I on the outside of that door, I put some stuff so that, it, you know, it would be loud and cumbersome to even get in. Because, like, as you know, nobody's going to come get me, but what if they do? But you know? people like, in your life yeah. know? Like... <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh, if, yeah. If hypothetically, like Kitty or something wanted to come in the room, does she know how to enter it? Like, um, banging loudly on the door. Okay. You, you gotta bang the fuck out of the door so I can hear through these. Um, well, what's the password? Kyle, Kyle, yeah, there's a it. man in the house. You know. <laughs> <laughs> do your best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost on this you. level. <laughs> I have a similar like thing. I don't. I don't know how long it's been since I've been on, but since I moved, I'm in a soundproof booth right now. So like I. I can't hear anything outside and nobody can hear me. I have a window that looks into my kitchen. So if somebody does happen to walk into my home, I will see them. But at the same time, it's like, if there's a fire going on and my fire alarm is going off, I will not know until smoke is covering my window and then I'm dead. So, so why like, the booth? Is it to uh, protect? Upstairs neighbors were, uh, work from home. Can't, you know, I'm a loud dude. Can't do it. Right, so right. I, so, I would have gotten evicted. So Okay. Okay. I was yeah. wondering if it was so that you didn't hear them or they didn't hear you. That's, that's well, yeah. They, so they don't hear me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they don't hear the 